Hi, this is Zach again, one of Zach's videos, and today I'm where the Indiana Capitol is here. Here is the Indiana Capitol, right there. And I brought my dog today. Here, his name is Oliver. <clears throat> So, we are at the Indiana Capitol today, and my video is about the Indiana Capitol as we are walking along the as we are walking along the pathway today. Here, as we come up on the Harrison County building, here this is the Harrison County county building right here there is a stone right here and that over there that right there as I get closer and closer is a kind of cannon that is a cannon right here this right here is a cannon They used the cannon in World War One. So over here, as you see, is this is the side of the building here of Indiana Capitol. And this sign says right here. This sign says right here, Polly Strong Slavery Case. Strong appeal. It starts on the other side, but I'm going to read this side. Strong appeal to Indiana Supreme Court in Corden, which ruled in in State v. Lasso, July 22, 1820. Slavery can have no existence in this and in Indiana. This decision did not free remaining slaves in Indiana. It did establish 1816 Indiana Constitution as the authority for decisions in Indiana courts regarding slavery and involuntary servitude and including 1821 Mary Clark case. So as we're walking down here, you see... I'll be right back. I'm good. I'm just gonna walk in front of the Indiana Capitol, okay? As we were walking in front of the Indiana Capitol here, right here is the Indiana Capitol, as you see. Now as we walk along, over here, you will see a statue. And here is a sign about the Indiana Capitol here. Indiana Capitol. The capital of Indiana Territory was moved to Corydon from Vincennes. 1813. This building became first state capital. 1816. Offices were moved to Indianapolis in 1825. So over here is the statue of Frank Lewis O'Bannon. And then the three monuments are over here. Here's the statue of Frank Lewis O'Bannon. <coughs> oh, that is my dog. Hush, oi! Here is the name of Frank Lewis O'Bannon. And then here is Robert Presley O'Bannon. 
find Lewis McClough and O'Bannon. O'Bannon was the 47th governor of the United States. I'm oh, sorry, of the state of Indiana. O'Bannon was... O'Bannon... Wait, what did you say? Obanion was the 47th governor of the state of Indiana. So those three monuments right there represent Frank Lewis O'Bannon. And as we're walking along here, you'll see the old bell. Now I've rang this the last afternoon I've came here last time. So, here is the bell. If you want to hear it ring, I'll show you here. I'm going to sit the computer down. Here's the bell of the ring. Here's the, how the ring sounds. That's the bell ring. And the sign right by the bell, I'm going to just read one paragraph of it. The bell predates the Civil War and may have been in the first Methodist church around the early 1800s when the first state capitol was built in Croydon, Indiana, erected by loving friends August 1991. So that is a few things about the bell that has been rang. As we're walking up onto the steps of this little auditorium, on special events, sometimes on special special events, sometimes they have sometimes they have uh, um, special events like dancing. There's my dog right here. Dog shows. Not dog shows. My mom is teasing. Well, sometimes they have dancing up here for dance recitals. Music. Music. The people sit out here. And by the way, here's the park and another view of Indiana Capitol. Over there is Conrad's, that music store I just gone to before I played this video. Well, I hope you liked my video. Bye!